Okay, I've got a new Singer Scholastic serger here, and uh, this is the one that was just introduced by HSN. And one of the things I noticed when I started setting it up, something that could be a problem, is back here where the little thread guides are coming off the post. Um, the first thing I did was just quickly grabbed it, pulled the thread through, and I noticed it was really tight. And what had happened is exactly what happened here. The thread got up behind this little guide here and got caught in between the plastic and the metal piece where the loop is. And it got very tight. And I've been trying to reproduce it and I don't know how it did it. It, it ended up kind of like that right there. And you can see how it was kind of pulling like that. And that was the noise it was making. So hopefully you can hear it. So if you look at this, the thread should be coming up. Let me see if I can get a hold of it here. It should be in that metal guide right there and not around it. It's hard for me to do this without my hand getting in the way, but it shouldn't be around it like that. That creates the problem with the tension being very tight and it's gonna throw everything off. So make sure that when you thread it, that it comes up in between that first metal post and then goes around and feeds back up through. And the best thing to do is once you've done that, pull on your thread, it should flow freely. And if it's not flowing freely, then there's something going on with the way that is. So again, let me pull it out here, show you. Pull the thread up nice and tight and it'll pull around that loop right there and then it will come through freely like so. Make sure it does that on all of these and uh, it'll save you a lot of headache. The only other thing, make sure the foot's up when you're threading the machine. That will release the tension disc. And then when you come down through the tension disc, put a little tension on it so it will lock down in there. And then go ahead and, and feed through your loopers and your needles. And that will give you a good idea on how to get started. The other thing, when you start sewing, just for starting, set everything either on two or three on your tension disc. And it's going to depend on how thick your fabric is and the cutting width and all that. But generally somewhere in that two to three range is what I've noticed on this machine that will give you a perfect stitch. So start either all twos on light weight material, all threes on some of the heavier material or vice versa. Uh, but just try starting out on all twos and see if that gets you close. And then you can kind of adjust your tension from there. And anyway, so that's just a quick video showing one of the things that I noticed on the machine that I wanted to get out, uh, just in case a lot of people were buying this machine and uh, having that problem. Hopefully this will help with the solution. That's it for now, take care.